Trenton, Florida. One of the countless small towns that make up the backbone of agricultural America. Located in rural Gilchrist County in central Florida, Trenton is a model of the typical American farming community. The people in this area draw their living from the land. And even though the outdoor work is strenuous in all types of weather at all hours, the pace is unhurried and the atmosphere is healthy. Trenton is remote from any large cities, and the small luxuries taken for granted in those places are not part of the way of life here. But the 3,550 residents of Trenton have had to suffer a much more serious privation in the past. For more than four years, the town had to get along without adequate medical care. Trenton did not have a doctor and could not find one. Finally, in 1971, this small town's unpleasant situation was resolved thanks to some innovative thinking at the University of Florida College of Medicine. A clinic was established for Trenton, but in place of the customary medical doctor, this clinic had to be headed by a physician's assistant. This marked the first time a physician's assistant was sent out to perform on his own, separate and almost entirely independent from the doctor he would normally be assisting. The young man carrying the burden of looking after an entire town's health problems is Gary Rexroth, a four-year veteran of the Navy Medical Corps and a graduate of the prestigious Physician's Assistant Program at Duke University. Ordinarily, Gary Rexroth would be working at a large urban clinic or in a hospital under the constant supervision of an MD, a kind of glorified assistant. But the new pilot program in Trenton has given a new meaning and latitude to the concept of Physician's Assistant. Gary has been given almost autonomous control of the family practice clinic in Trenton, and he now handles over 90% of the health needs of the community. The people of Trenton have eagerly accepted the excellent care offered at their new clinic, and the daily patient load has grown progressively heavier. The clinic itself is furnished with the newest x-ray machines, electrocardiographs, and incubation equipment. So Gary and his staff, which includes a registered nurse, spend a great deal of time learning to use the sophisticated medical hardware. The information retrieval system is hooked by computer to a larger memory bank at the Florida Medical College, and there are plans to add a closed circuit television system to the clinic. Medical students from the University Hospital in Gainesville, Florida, come to Trenton on a regular basis to assist Gary at the clinic as part of their own medical training. About once a week, the program supervisor, Dr. Richard A. Henry of the Florida Medical College, visits the clinic to review the patient's records, assist in the diagnosis and treatment of more difficult cases, and to bring Gary up to date on the newer developments of medical technology. By law, Gary operates as Dr. Henry's assistant, but the physician is quick to point out the fact that this program is significantly different from the standard operations of a physician's assistant. For the most part, the doctor exercises minimal supervision over Gary's clinic operations, and he lauds the skill and dedication of his colleague's performance with the clinic. In fact, the program is run so smoothly, doctors and community health officials from all over the United States and 10 foreign countries have come to Trenton to observe the clinic, and all have returned home favorably impressed with Gary's results there. Gary's professional manner may best be described as similar to the old country doctor. Although patients are encouraged to come to the clinic for treatment, house calls have become an inevitable part of Gary's routine. And when this happens, out comes the familiar black bag, a pleasant reminder of days past. Gwen, his wife of six years, accepts the unpredictable philosophically, and both realize the needs of the community come before their own conveniences. How does Gary react to the agonizing burden of his job? I'm as excited about the program now as I was when I entered it two years ago. Every day I become more confident in my own ability, and I think the people who started this program are becoming more aware of the potential of the physician's assistant in this type of setting. After all these years in the medical field, I've absorbed a vast amount of knowledge, but the more I learn, the more I realize I haven't even scratched the surface. <laughs> 